Hello all and welcome, it's test and review day. Uh, today we have the SMK XS 36 stroke 1 underlever. Uh, looks like it could be a, a really interesting gun. Uh, hopefully it's got good accuracy. It can do what I've wanted to do and that is to give the ones that in our league that are doing really well a bit of a challenge. Well let's see how it goes. Let's put it through one of its first tests today and that's be the spinners. Let's see how it goes. Okay let's, uh, let's try this new one out. Let's see how it goes. The spinners. I've made it up with RWS Hobby Pellets which seemed to do quite well in it earlier when I was uh, tuning it in. Hopefully I was right. Here goes. Top one. That's a good start. No problem at all. Next one down. Yeah, that's no problem. Doing quite well. Hope he keeps it up. Third one down. Oh, clipped it. Didn't spin it. Well, count though, it did at least hit it. It wasn't. Uh, just a complete miss, just caught the side of it. Now this is the one that he does need to get, the very small one. Let's have a see how good his accuracy is. Yeah, and gets that one, so round one. Even with a the clip there, there'll be a pass. So we go into our next one. Next test for this uh, SMK is the bottle tops. Top three caps on the right hand side of the board. I'll start from the top one and work down. Let's see how he goes. Hopefully he can shoot them out, if not at least he puts a hole in them. Oh, put a hole in that one, lovely hole. So that's a good start. Is one thing that I do struggle with uh, due to my arthritis I do keep getting the pellet drops when I try and push it in and uh, I just need to take my time a little more I think with it. Um, second shot I think that's the cherry coat cap oh that's a flyer and can you get his third one now, the last one, which is the blue cap, for a pass on this one. Oh yeah, nice pass there for the SMK. We move on to round three. Next test for the SMK is the duck hunt. Now, as you know with this, the ducks don't have to go down, I just need to see that centre reset shake to know that it's actually gone back and hit the reset bar. So just look out for that if the duck doesn't go down. Yeah, shook and move, so that's no problem. That's the count. And again, didn't stick, but uh, took the reset bar, so that's good enough. Here we go again, the arthritis is playing up, I can't bend my finger to get, get it in. That's one thing that I think I will struggle with with this under lever guns. Yeah, good one again. Look for. Oh, at last we've got one to stick. I've got to admit, since we've had this new uh, this new duck hunt, it's not been really good at all. It's the old one was better, and I scrapped that. Anyway, to finish off, can I get the reset? 
No, it's a miss. Got four out, but couldn't get the reset. As a matter of fact, while well, I've got the gun in my hand, I'll have another go. Just in case it's a uh, wobbly old me who caused that. Yeah, got it in the end, but uh, we'll give it away by there. It just, just might have been me with that. So, another round passed as we go to the gallery. Okay, let's have a see how this SMK can do on our gallery. Uh, don't so much look for the uh, bars to come up if you can. Have a look, see whether the top rattles. If it does, you know it hit the bar and it will count. But uh, I would have thought this has got ample enough power to uh, to knock those bars up anyway. But we'll see. That's one good start. These underlever guns are uh, are seemingly very very accurate. Um, I'm well impressed with them, to be fair. So yeah, doesn't seem to be uh, seem to be struggling with this round at all. Yeah, and gets the reset, so no problem at all there for the SMK as we now go into target shooting. Okay, it's target shooting now. What I'm going to do with this, being as I've bought two new guns at around the same time. I'm going to put them up against each other in this room so you can get a good idea of how good they're shooting. Uh, the Remington Warhawk will go first and that will go in the left hand card and then I'll bring the SMK XS36 stroke 1 into the other target. So Warhawk first, 5 shots to centre target, let's see how this one goes. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Straight in the same hole. Really well, this gun, I've got to be honest with you. Well, there we go. That's five great shots from the Warhawk. Now, into the right hand target, we're bringing our other new underlever gun, which is the SMK XS 36 point stroke one. Now, not too sure how this is going to go target shooting, it's, um, it's still really letting in but uh, it should 
give us a decent show. Let's have a see. A little bit wide. I'm getting increasingly annoyed with how my finger cramps up trying to get their pellet into this. But I think it's not aided at all by the size of the scalp on it. down a bit it does seem to be shooting well the SMK even though it's not matching the Warhawk by any stretch of the imagination but it is shooting quite well now the first one was a bit of a fly away but yeah it's not too bad at all both guns I think shot really well there to be fair um, yeah uh, the Warhawk especially could cause a little bit of trouble in our battle leagues I think Okay, it's our last round and that is the Chrono. Um, what we're looking for here is our highest amount out of the five shots. I'm going to bring the SMK in first to do this and let's see how it can go. Right. Do excuse me phone, somebody seems to be after me. A 160.3, so quite consistent at the moment. There we go again, my cramped little fingers. I'll get it in. One fifty nine point six. So I think it's one sixty point three the best so far. So Oh, 161.1, a better one. Last one now. Oh, a 168.9 at the end there. So, I'll just write that in. 160. 8.1 SMK and I'll be back shortly with some kind of results ok then some results for us for the SMK when it went over the chronograph uh, the pellets we're using was RWS which are uh, 5.9 grain uh, the velocity turned into uh, feet per second was 551.5 that equates to 10.74 foot-pounds or 14.56 joules uh, which you know isn't close to the legal limit but it's you know it's got a good good kick on it and I'm sure once it's had a clean and let it in some more it may have been more than that in the end so that's not too bad at all but that's the uh, that's the results obviously of our, our scenes over the chronograph there. Right, now after that what are my feelings on the SMK? Well it's uh, an underleaver, the only thing that I'm not too keen at the minute is I do struggle to get the pellet into the chamber which 
I'll probably find a way around that. I don't think it's made easy as well by the scalp being a bit too large for it. I may have to change the scalp on that at some point. Um, will it cause any damage in our battle league? Well, I'm not too sure on that. Um, at the moment, it's a little bit hard to tell. It's uh, not being as accurate as I would like it, but it's there or thereabouts. As I say, with a bit more leading in, it made it better. It may be after a bit more testing I find a pellet that suits it better at the minute. I've put it with RWS Superfills which are usually a, a pretty good solid starting point for any gun really. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it performed well all the way around our test today. It's done really well. It's got a decent amount of power there. It's not low down on power at all I wouldn't say. Um, the only thing we can possibly do with a gun, I think, is wait for it to get into the league and see what it does against one of our middle of the range guns, as I would say, you know, something that's not usually there at the top, but still quite decent. Let's see whether it can put up a good fight against one of those. Would I recommend it? Um, yeah, I, I, I do like the gun. I mean, it's lovely. I mean, that was supplied today to us by uh, Leicester Airgun Centre, Leicestershire Airgun Centre, which you can see they give us a lovely banner. They also supplied us with some pellets to test and some targets today. They're a lovely gang of people there. And also I find the prices there beyond belief. They're really that cheap, it's untrue, and they've really looked after me today. Um, I think I paid 90, 90 odd pounds, if my memory serves me right. Uh, £95 for the SMK XS36 stroke one. Uh, obviously I had to put my own scope to it, uh, which I had a gun tough one in at the moment, which I've put on it there, which seems to work well with it. Uh, so all in all, to get the gun up and running cost me, let's say, around £135 all up and running with the scope. Um, for that, as I say, it's it's looking like it's going to perform well, it's going to give us you know, some uh, some nice footage, shall we say, in our Battle League. And I look forward to seeing that, to be fair. That's why these two underlever guns that I've been reviewing over the last few days have been brought in. I want to put something in there that can challenge the likes of the Exocet, who seems to get away with it scot-free without a challenger. The only one that's ever put a challenge in so far has been the Gamma. And that sadly is a, a battle that you've never seen. It's one that I had to cut from the old league uh, so I could bring forward the new league uh, faster. Otherwise you'd have been waiting about a month for the new league to start and I didn't want you to do that because like obviously uh, I can tell you from the early filming uh, it's been a lot closer, it's been a lot older battles and we've even had one go to a tie break where we've had to use our new tie break system which is the spinning duck wheel. Uh, and you'll look forward to seeing that. I'm not going to spoil it and tell you which one because obviously that ruins it all for you. But uh, yeah, it's been looking good so far and uh, I've been really pleased with the results in the new Battle League. You'll be looking forward to seeing that uh, by the time this video is released. It'll already be up and running and you'll be enjoying it, hopefully. Well, that's the review over today of the SMK XS36 Stroke 1. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.